five. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room, Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and August will be our last uh, uh, sessions together. So I hope you'll stay with me and then go back, go to the library in September to see Miss Sam on Fridays. Uh, so we should have a good time and maybe I'll see you occasionally at the library too. So here we go. <clears throat> Come on, everybody, sing with me. And nannies and, and grandmas, mommies and daddies, <laughs> caregivers. Come on, all join in. Give your, your child much more experience, uh, uh, positive uh, uh, impact. So here we go. Are you ready? Huh? Well, hello. This is my lambkin. Yeah, that's lambkin, right. <clears throat> and we're going to sing the hello song with her. Okay, can you do that with me? Okay, here we go. The more we get together, together, together. <clears throat> she has a better voice than I do. <clears throat> I shouldn't be drowning her out. <clears throat> the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay. Well, my goodness me, there's a song about you. Did you know that, Lambkin? Yes. And the little girl that lives on this farm, guess what? This is her mommy. And these are the animals that are on her farm. But she also has three white mice, right? Right, three white mice, they're pets, right? And, the, and, her, and their mommy's going to cut them some cheese with a very sharp knife. So Mar Mary doesn't touch the knife, no, just mommy does, yeah. So let's get, let's get this so that you can see. There we go. So there we are. Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all run after the farmer's wife who cuts them cheese with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice, three blind mice. So here we go. Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all run after the farmer's wife who cuts them cheese with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice, three blind mice, three blind mice. Yes. And there they are. They've been fed. Now it's time to feed the animals, right? Oh, farm, farm work is very hard. Yeah. A lot of hard work, but oh, it's a great, it's a great thing to be a farmer with all those wonderful animals. <clears throat> Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. He followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. <clears throat> and all the children laughed and played, laughed and played, laughed and played. All the children laughed and played to see a lamb at school. Ha 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 Okay, no, now we have other work to do. So you'll have to go you know, over in this pasture here with your the rest of your friends. There we go. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> before we have our first book, I have a tip from, from Wizzy Wizard. Oh my goodness, Wizzy Wizard, what's our tip today? <clears throat> well, when children have hands-on experiences that use both real items and science, science experiments, they learn new words, right? When we talk with children about informational books, we read and combine them with hands-on uh, activities. Young children are getting the necessary context, language, uh, uh, and to help them more completely understand scientific processes. Did you ever take a glass of water and put a teaspoon of sugar in it and ask your child, after it's dissolved, do you think the sugar is still there or is it all gone? And then let him taste it. 
taste it before and taste it after. And he can tell you that it's still there. That's the sort of thing. <clears throat> or things that float and things that sink, right? Or things that are rough and things that are smooth. Right, feeling of things. Different, different language for each, <clears throat> different words of, of corrugated and, and bumpy. Thought that sort of thing, right? Slippery, slippery like silk. Yeah, those are experiments for the sage group. Hmm. Well, I have a book today by Margaret Weiss Brown, and it's called The Big Red Barn. Well, it doesn't look quite like my barn, but all barns don't look exactly the same, do they? No. And this is by Margaret Weiss Brown, who wrote Good Night Moon. And you know that book, right? The Big Red Barn. Let's see what's going on here. I see the sheep. You suppose that's Mary's lamb all grown up? I bet it is. <clears throat> by the Big Red Barn to, uh, in the Great Green Field. Great green field. I see corn over there too. Hmm. There was a pink pig who was learning to squeal. Squeal. A little baby pig. The piglet. And on every barn is a weather vane, of course. Oh, a golden flying horse. That's what that, on that barn. Some of them have different panels up there to help the farmers know which way the wind blows. <clears throat> there was a big pile of hay and a little pile of hay. And that is where the children play. Right, right by the barn with the animals. <clears throat> the sheep and the donkey the geese and the goats are <clears throat> making funny noises down in their throats. <clears throat> An old scarecrow was leaning on his hoe and a field mouse was born. With the scarecrow, it's a pretend person to scare away the birds that eat the corn. Ah, in a field of corn, that little mouse was born. Do you see him? Oh, there he is, baby mouse, so tiny, about as tiny as your little fingernail. Ah. <laughs> in the barn, there was a rooster and a pigeon, too. That's the daddy hen, right? The rooster. <clears throat> there was a bantam rooster and a little bantam hen. Uh, whoops, I forgot. I I missed, I missed something here. The hen with her one egg. And a big white hen standing on one leg. And under the hen was a quiet egg. Look at that. One teeny little egg. She just laid it. Ah, but there was a bantam rooster and a little bantam hen and a big clutch of eggs. Count them, there are 10. Well, she must have been sitting on them for quite a few days, right? Well, she maybe is going to have a, a brood of chicks. Right. -a -doo -doo. No. No. Ah, there was a big brown cow and a little brown cow. Look at that, her baby. Huh? Hmm. There was an old black cat. And meow, meow, and a tiger tongue cat. Meow, meow. There was a big red dog. Woof, woof. With some little puppy dogs all round and warm. Look at those little babies, little kittens and little pups. How fun. Wouldn't that be nice to live on a farm and have all those babies to play with? <clears throat> And they all lived together in the big red barn. And they played all day in the grass and in the hay. Look at that. What do they do with the hay, huh? Well, some animals eat it, right? 
that's their, that's part of their diet, part of their food. <clears throat> when the sun went down in the great green field, the big cow lowed, little pig squealed. The horses stomped in the sweet warm hay and the little donkey gave one last yeah. Oh. Hmm. The hens were sleeping on their nests. Even the rooster took a rest. And the little black bats flew away out of the barn at the end of the day. Now, do you see that sort of black smudge there? Those are the bats. They're going out to get their dinner. And they're usually mosquitoes. So we like bats to be around, <clears throat> maybe not too close though. And there they were all night long, sound asleep. Can you see those animals all sound asleep in the barn? That's what the inside looks like. A nice home for animals. <clears throat> in the big red barn. Only the mice, who are left to play, rustling and squeaking in the hay. In the dark <clears throat> night sky. What is that, the moon? Oh dear, I messed that one up too. <clears throat> While the moon uh, sailed high, and look, what's the reflection? See the reflection of the moon there in that bucket of water? Ah, in the dark night sky. And there's the scarecrow standing there all night long. <laughs> the big red barn by my Margaret Weiss Brown. Yeah, that's a great bed, bedtime book. In fact, I have another one too later on. <coughs> well, I have a little red hen, the prettiest you'd ever seen. She washes up my dishes and keeps my house clean. She goes to the miller to buy me some flour and is always home within the hour. She bakes me my bread and brews me my ale and then sits by my fire and tells a fine tale. I understand. Here we go. I have a little red hen, the prettiest you'd ever seen. She washes up my dishes and keeps my house clean. She goes to the miller to buy, fetch me some flour and is always home within the hour. She bakes me my bread and brews me my ale, then sits by my fire and tells a fine tale. What is it? Yes. Absolutely. <clears throat> <clears throat> One thing about farms and, and summer are uh, there's always, there's always flies. Ooh. Well, let's see if I can do this. No, let's see, actually, it's hard to do. Oh, the flies flying around. Oh, such pests back and forth and all around. They're so fast you can't catch them. Oh, terrible, terrible. And so, Anyway, <clears throat> well, there's a song about that. And it happens to be sort of a dance too. So here we go. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Skip to my loo, my darling. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Can you skip, huh? Pretend you're painting a wagon. Can you paint? Little red wagon painted blue, little red wagon painted blue, little red wagon painted blue. Skip to my loo, my darling. Let's see a skip. Or you can hop or jump, huh? Skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip to my loo, my darling. Ha. <clears throat> now we're gonna go one way and the boys will be going the other way. The girls will go the one way, the girl and the boys will go the other way. If we were in school and we were dancing this, but you could just do anything you want, okay? 
I'll find a partner pretty as you. I'll find a partner pretty as you. I'll find a partner pretty as you. Skip to my loo, my darling. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, 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 skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Well, here's one. And it's an alphabet book. You like alphabet books? They're kind of fun. You don't have to do the whole alphabet. Maybe just look at one or two letters and, and enjoy the pictures and, the, and talking about it. Here's an A. Oops. Seems like something's falling down here, but that's okay. A. And A is for apple. Right. Apple. And this book is called Old Black Fly by Jim Ellsworth. And on each page is one of these letters. And see if you can find it. Okay, you know the alphabet? Mm -hmm. Probably not, probably not. And we don't expect you to, no we do. <clears throat> oh, black fly. I have a feeling that this is <clears throat> maybe a Southern lady's telling this story, what do you think? Old black fly been buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Old black fly's been buzzing around and he's had a very busy, bad day. <clears throat> you see the A? Huh? I see the red A. He ate on the crust of the apple pie. He bothered the baby and made her cry. You think it'd be? Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. <clears throat> he coughed on the cookies with the chocolate bits. And he bothered the dog nearly out of his wits. Ah, shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He frolicked on the eggs for the birthday cake. You see the ready? Huh? And he flicked up the frosting for goodness sakes. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. Yes. Huh? <laughs> he danced on the edge of the garbage sack and he got sweet honey on his dirty back. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. <laughs> He hid in the ivy by the kitchen sink and he stole some jelly. Quick as a wink. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. He played on the keys by the kitchen door. Up, oh, I see a I see a, a blue K, do you? Huh? And he lit on the list for the grocery store. Oh, shoo fly, shoo fly. Shoo! Maybe the nannies can call out the letters and the mommies can. Hmm? He lapped up the milk in poor Kitty's bowl <laughs> and nibbled on noodles in the casserole. Noodles have an N, it just has an N, right? He crawled on the spills from the olive oil can and he pestered the parrot on her stand. Ah, oh, shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. Okay. He snoozed on the quilt on grandma's bed. And he rolled the ribbon around her head. The red ribbon, look at that. He sniffed the salami that sister sliced. He ran around her teacup once or twice. Oh, yucko, yuck, yuck. And he slept on the stack of clean underwear. There he is at the very top. Look at that you underwear. Ah, <clears throat> and he played on the base by the velvet chair.
shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He dozed on the window in the summer heat, and he made a little X with his front feet. And there he is with his little X. Ah. He buzzed about the yarn in Martha's lap, uh, Mama's lap, and he landed on her table, flap, flip, flap. Zzz. What's that baby doing with that cake? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ah, ah, swat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, black flies done buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Oh, black flies done buzzing around. And he won't be back no more. Oh, oh, he got a little bit too close to that baby and her cake, didn't he? <laughs> well, that's what happened. I saw you were taking your lunch today. Okay, you I have new lunch to, today? Um, Sam. Sam, can you meeting mute? at one? Sam, can you mute yourself, please? I have a meeting at one, so if you could take noon, that would be great. Sam, <laughs> Sam, can you hear me? Can you mute yourself, please? Oh dear, she's muted me, but I don't think she's muted herself. I, I haven't <laughs> muted myself. Sorry, Jean. How did that happen? Okay. <laughs> All right. But anyway, we just went through the alphabet, didn't we? Now let's do it again, shall we? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Huh? Hey, that was pretty good. Can you do it again? Come on, help me. You know what I'll do? I'll point out the letters so that you can see which letter I'm talking about. And I don't expect you to learn, but you're listening. I hope, I hope you're listening. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. Good job. That was great. Now, but let's go back to the farm. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. <clears throat> Pretty good. You only lost the lamb, right? There we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, how many days do you like to play, huh? I bet the children on the farm, they, they probably work too. They probably help feed the animals, the chickens, pull up some weeds, huh? <clears throat> but they play every day. How about you? Do you play every day? How many days have my babies to play? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Ah, hop away, skip away. My babies like to play every day. Right, those are the letters that begin the days of the week. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday again, right? Sure. So here we go. What day is it today that you're watching me, huh? Ah, okay. I, right now, am in Tuesday. But you might be watching me on Monday or Wednesday or Sunday. Sure. How many days have my children to play? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Ah, hop away. Skip away. My children like to play every day. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> well, sometimes in the barn, 
there is an owl called a barn owl, but this is not a barn owl. This is a great horned owl, and he usually lives out in the woods, but he might be near the barn, right? The wise old owl sits high in the oak. The more he saw, he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we be more like that wise old bird? Let's put this bird on the other hand so you can see him better. There he is. There he is. Wise old owl sits high in the oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we be more like that wise old owl? Important to learn how to listen. Wow. Much, much good advice there. <clears throat> well, here's one about a big barn. Another one. Look at that. And this this uh, author um, has illustrated it with different fabrics. There's blue jeans on the on the roof, and some of it looks like just pieces of cardboard cut out and painted. Yeah, she's made a collage of, of her pictures. Big red barn. And this is by uh, Suzanne Tanner Chitwood. I think I see some cows in there, don't you? Some, some white and black cows. Are those Holsteins? I'm not sure. I forgot. I think so. Looks like it must be springtime with those daffodils, right? Wake up, big barn. Sure, the beginning of the year, and farmers will start to plant. Wake up, big barn. Look at that. Now see the weather weather vane? It's not a horse, it's a yeah, it's a rooster. <clears throat> What is that? That's a real one, right? That's not a weather thing. Ah, pigs love a mud bath. Look at them mucking in the mud. They love it. Hee haw, hee haw. Moo, moo, moo. Those are animal sounds, aren't they? The donkey and the cows. Wiggle, wiggle, weather vane, windy day. The farmer's gonna have a hard time sowing his seeds, I think. Ah, show me your feathers. <clears throat> There's a peacock on that farm. Look at that. And she's made his feathers out of, I don't know what. Looks like she's cut up a magazine or something. <clears throat> nay, nay, hey. Look, what are they running to? Huh? Oh, yes, they see the hay. Hay, hay. Hip hop, bebop, uh, farm frogs, oh, uh, rock hop. Corn time, snack time. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. oh. They make with some of the corn, probably from last year. Popcorn, right? Uh, wheels <clears throat> stop. Chug a chug a ching. Oh, that's the tractor. And then to have some, some, some dinner. Flat, flat, fly. Is that the goose? Huh? He's coming to see if he can get something to eat, too. Huh? Cherries. Oh. <clears throat> Cherries fall. Ping, ping, ping. Let's eat pie. Oh boy, someone made a cherry pie for dinner. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Owls on the night shift. Scooby dooby goo. Boom. Ah, good night, big bum. <clears throat> good night, you. Very simple, very sweet book for bedtime. <clears throat> well, let's see if it's nighttime. Let's 
let's see if we can make it nighttime. Do you think we can? Oops. <laughs> Let's get that moon up there, shall we? We put the man, the, the moon up there in the sky. Right. And then, what do I have here? Ah. There was an old woman tossed up in a basket, 17 times as high as the moon. Where she was going, I just had to ask it. For in her hands, she carried a broom. Oh woman, oh woman, oh woman, says I, where are you going to up so high? To sweep the cobwebs from the sky. Oh, may I go with you? Hi, by and by. What do you suppose she's doing, huh? Can you guess? I don't know. There was an old woman tossed up in a basket, 17 times as high as the moon. She was going, I just had to ask it. For in her hands, she carried a broom. Oh, woman, oh, woman, oh, woman, says I. Where are you going to up so high? To sweep the cobwebs from the sky. Oh, may I go with you? Aye, by and by, by and by. I think she sweeps away all the bad dreams so that we can have a good dream when we fall asleep. What do you think? I think she's getting us ready for bed. Good for you, lady. Well, <clears throat> do you have soup ever for lunch, huh? And mommy uses a ladle, a ladle to, to dip into the soup pot and put it in your bowl, right? This is a ladle, or it's a dipper, right? And some stars are, are up in the sky and they are, and they, they sort of look like a dipper. Look at that. And guess what? It's a, that is the Big Dipper. Right? But this is a silly song. So that this is a ladle, right? Or, or a dipper, but this is a ladle. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his hair was made of spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. His hair was made of spaghetti, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle. And his name was Aiken Drum. And his ears were made of oranges, oranges, oranges. His ears were made of oranges. And his name was Aiken Drum. Was a man in, <clears throat> lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his eyes were made of Fridays, Fridays, Fridays. His eyes were made of Fridays, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his nose was made of red pepper, a red pepper, a red pepper. His nose was made of red pepper, and his name was Aiken. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his mouth was a green pickle, a pickle, a pickle. His mouth was a green pickle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. Well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song. <clears throat> so anyway, here is 